What's up, guys? Welcome to Solomon's Vineyard. I'm Russell Mack, and welcome to Old School Sunday, an episode I started some time ago talking about fragrances from the old school. Fragrances a lot of us grew up on are fragrances that we know, classics, if you will. And today is no ex uh, uh, exception. Um, but before I get into the fragrance, guys, um, I would like if you're new to my channel, this is your first time uh, tapping my thumbnail and you got your boy Russell Mack, the OG, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the subscription button right below it. There's the notification bell. Tap on that notification bell and a notification will come to your feed letting you know I'm on the air. Also, share the video. Plus, I need your thumbs up and your likes, if you will. Below that, there's a comment thread. If you want to make a comment on the video, a suggestion, uh, if you want to comment on the fragrance that we're talking about, even your sin of the day, feel free to do so in the comment thread below. All right, my sin of the day is one of the best fragrances from John Barbato's. John Barbato's, I know, and this is vintage. Uh, you guys know all about this fragrance. It's an old school, uh, well, type of fragrance. I'll say it's not an old fragrance, but it has an old school vibe. And it was my scent this morning. I love this bottle. I love the weaved basket look, uh, look that it has. The, the uh, I think it's a uh, bronze, if you will, top. Great fragrance, guys. I'll spray a little bit for you. If I can find what the bag that is. Has that rhubarb, tobacco, suede, really basil, really nice fragrance. If you don't know about this one, and you want to smell really manly, that's the kind of scent profile this has. You really love it. Vintage by John Varbatos. All right, that's my scent this morning. Tonight, I'll be rocking something else. All right, also while I'm on that, there's a live stream. Tonight, done by my brother in Fragcom. His name is Warren, but you would know him as Fat Boy of Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. He's celebrating his milestone of a thousand subscribers. I'm so happy and proud of him. I would love if you guys would come and show me, because I'll be there on the live stream, and there'll be other guests. Come show us your love and your support. Um, come show Fat Boy your love and support. You can uh, get to it. Go to Fat Boy's page, or, or should I say his channel? Subscribe to his channel also. Uh, and you can join in on the live stream feed, all right? I love to see you there. If you do show up, let your boy know you're in the house, all right? I would love to see all of you if you can. Uh, and I thank you in advance for Fat Boy, all right, and myself, all right? Now, let's get into our old school fragrance. I won't be long. We're going back to 1999, right before 2000, okay? And I shout out and rest in peace to Prince Rogers Nelson. He did a song back in those days called Party Like It's 1999. Many of you should remember that song, all right? If you were, if you were around then, if you're over 40, you remember it, all right? Now, the rest of you, if you're not uh, 30 or, or 40, you can look it up. It's a bad song, and it was talking about partying like it's 1999. I remember New Year's night when it was transitioning from 99 to 2000. That's one of the songs we heard a lot of back then. Uh, and I'm talking about a fragrance from those times from the house of Perry Ellis. This is Portfolio. We know it as Portfolio Red. Here's the bottle. I don't have the box. All right, the top is uh, not a click on top. As you see, but it does fit snug. This is a big bottle, 100 mil, 3.4 ounce bottle with a black top. And I love the color scheme. It has a black itemizer, but you can see the color scheme better. Better. It goes from a blood red to a burgundy or maroon down to black. It has the portfolio frame there to Perry Ellis sign. The name is there on the bottle. I'm sure y'all guys can see it, all right? Let's go on and get into the scent. This here is a woody, wood, woodsy, spicy, aromatic. Now, this is not a very strong fragrance. Let me start off by saying that it's a light fragrance, but it does perform. It has a lot of body, okay? And it has character, all right? 
I, re I definitely remember this scent. Uh, most of you may be more familiar with the 360 line. It was uh, 360 Red, which is a citrus fragrance that smells similar to Aquadigio. Um, the skinny bottles, there was 360 Blue. Remember that? There was 360 Black, and they had a whole bunch of them. Well, this one also, same way. Now, I have not tried many others, but I have had the Portfolio White. And now I have this one. I paid $14 from the rack store. I think it was at Burlington I found this fragrance, all right? Now, let's go into the smell of it. The notes should now be up on the screen. Um, I'll set the bottle there where you guys can see it. This fragrance here opens up with green notes and pear. Green notes and pear. You definitely get the pear and the green notes. Then it goes into lavender, basil, and clementine, all right? And from clementine, it goes into teak wood, sandalwood, and musk. A real simple note breakdown. You got about eight notes there. This fragrance is light, fresh, and clean. You, you don't have a citrus open opening like a lot of the fragrances that you wear in the summer and spring and fall. This has a fruity opening, but it's that of pear, green notes. You get the lavender, the clementine, which is kind of a citrusy, a heavy citrus note. I love the lavender in here. There's the aromatic properties in the fragrance. And then from there, it goes to the teak wood. I believe the teak wood is what gives it some uniqueness, if you will. And the musk. The musk is not a strong musk, okay? But you can smell it in the fragrance. Very nice. You get some creaminess from the sandalwood. You get the woodiness and bitterness from the teak wood and the, the herbaceousness from the green notes at the top. This, I would say, is a really, really mass appealing fragrance. This is one that I, I would say is not a groundbreaker. Uh, although it came out in 1999, it is not a groundbreaking fragrance, especially now, you know, with the fragrances we have now. But I will say it is a fresh and clean offering from the house very nice it's not it's not even a fragrance i would say that don't have a modern touch it does have a modern touch you can still rock this even now uh and get by with it and a lot of people still wouldn't know what you're wearing i think where this fragrance shines the most is that the, the sea odds from it i believe with the wind blowing on a nice spring evening or a nice summer evening this, the sea arch and the scent cloud and silage from this would do very well. People would actually love the way you smell. Uh, it's not too much of a mature scent, although it's a masculine scent. A man can rock this easily. And I believe because of the scent profile and the notes that's in this fragrance, a woman could rock, rock this very easily. Also, light, fresh, clean, vibrant, kind of bright gives a nice energy off from this fragrance. It's a feel-good fragrance. When I sprayed, when I wore this, I felt really, really good. I got a lot of compliments. You will get compliments. Mass appealing. The lavender and the basil, if you will, and pear are the keynotes to this fragrance. Now, um, I would say it is versatile. You can rock this casually, definitely. You can rock it with a t-shirt, and I believe if you're really, really confident, you can rock it dressed up, all right? Uh, I, I told you that women could rock this. You will get about two feet projection. Um, you're gonna get three good hours of performance. Um, before the fourth, fifth hour, you're gonna, it'll dry down to the, you know, drop a bit down to the skin. Um, so six, six and a half maybe, all right? Depending on the kind of skin chemistry you have, you can probably get, seven hours but i say hey don't complain about the about the uh performance get you a decan or stick this bottle in your pocket and bring it with you it's a beautiful fragrance from those times 1999 i've been had this fragrance guys and i forgot i had it and i found it today my daughter found it and uh, i went on and previewed it so i wanted to go on and do my old school sunday and talk about this fragrance Perry Ellis portfolio red if you haven't tried this fragrance i say get it don't blind buy it though see if you can get a sample and uh 
give it a try. Really, really nice summery, or should I say summer night, I would say. You could try to rock this in the daytime to the office. I think you could get away with it. Running errands, you can get away with it. I would even say around to the pool, you know, if you're going to the beach to hang out, going, you know, to a pool party, uh, this would be a nice fragrance, nice and breezy fragrance. It gives off a breezy quality, if you will. Nice, nice, nice pear and lavender. If you like pear and lavender, uniqueness of teak wood with sandalwood and musk, this is a great fragrance, all right? So, I'm finished, guys. Hope I didn't take too long. I'm going to get ready for the live stream. I hope you guys meet me there or beat me there. I'll see you there, 720, I should be on the air, all right? Me and Fat Boy, along with some of my other Frag brothers, and I hope you guys be there, all right? Thank you very much for giving me some of your time on a Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your day. Take care of yourself. I'll see you for another Frag preview real soon. I love you. God bless you. Peace. All right, all right, all right.